Welcome back. In this session, I'm going to be showing you how to use the heads up view toolbar. Now, I already went through this with the user interface. Uh, what that is, is this section right here. Okay, it's called heads up view toolbar because it's right above the part that you're working with most of the time. Remember, your graphical area is your best friend. You'll be working here most of the time. And the view toolbar is very accessible and very close to that uh, graphical area. It's actually inside the graphical area and on top. And that's why it's called the heads up view toolbar. Now, this is going to be helping you zoom in and out and show different views while you're working in SOLIDWORKS. So let's go ahead and start over here on the left side. Now, zoom to fit, if you click on it, this is will zoom your part to fit the screen. So if I say I want to zoom in and then I get lost, I don't know where my part is. All I have to do is come over here and click on zoom to fit and it will bring my part right back where it's viewable entirely in uh, SOLIDWORKS. Now, this is very helpful when you're using assemblies and uh, during assembly, sometimes you get lost rotating your part, doing different things. All you got to do is zoom to fit and you will see your entire assembly. OK, now the next one is zoom to area. If you click on that, now say I want a little area that I want to zoom into. OK, so let's say this section. All I have to do is left click and hold my left click button and then come over here and then just let go to the bottom right. So just move it to a certain section that I want to zoom into. So say it's right here and the center of that is going to be uh, that little uh, three, that little corner where those three lines intersect. So all I'm going to do is come over here and then let go and you're going to see it zooms in. So that box actually was this big and SOLIDWORKS used that box to zoom into that point that I told it to zoom into. Okay. Now if I want to go back, all I have to do is hit zoom to fit. Now remember this is still selected. So if I come over here and say I want to zoom into this area, boom, it zooms into that area. If I want to zoom, zoom in some more, you can select it again and zoom in some more. So remember uh, to zoom in, all you have to do is left click and hold it and then let go to the area. So this is it's just a window that it's using that window to zoom in. So that when the entire window appears on your screen. OK, so there you go. You're going to see that it zooms into this area. So I'm going to fit the screen back up again and then I'm going to uncheck zoom to area to get out of that. Otherwise, you will keep uh, going back in and zooming into that area. Now, the next one is a previous view. So if you click on that, it will go to the previous view that you have uh, showing. So if you keep clicking, it will keep going back to the previous view that you have selected. And then uh, it will keep going back all the way to the first view that you have done in the zoom to area. OK, so I'm going to go back to fit to uh, zoom to fit to go back to my normal area. The next one over here is a section view. Now, the section view will be going over it in another section, but uh, just to show it to you, if I click on uh, the uh, the section area view, it will cut my part. OK, and I will just rotate my part to show you where it cut it now for this one. It only cuts it a little bit. I'm going to move it over here and click on OK, and it will show you that it actually cut my part. It sectioned off my part. Now, this is useful whenever you have a design that you want to see the interior of it or you want to show the customer the interior of that part. So you want to section view it so you see all the little details inside that part. Now, again, I will be going over that in another section. So I'm going to click back on section view to make that go away. All right. The next one and the most important one is the view orientation. Now, this one I use and you should be using a lot. Now, if you click on that, you're going to notice a little cross over here. Now, everyone indicates a different view. This one right here is going to be your front view and it's going to be your main view that you usually start creating your sketch in. OK, now there's also the top view. So this will show you the top view of that part. If you click on it again and you can see the left view. OK, this is the right view. And this is actually the back view, which it looks like just like the front view. OK, and there's also the bottom view as well. So those are the main views that you have. Those are every part has six sides to it. And these are going to be the six sides that you will uh, you will see here depending on wherever you want to go. OK, now over here, there's single view, two views, horizontal, two views, vertical and four views. Those are just windows of how you want to see your part. So if you want to see different views at different windows, for example, four views, it will separate your part into four different views. So you have your front view and it will say right at the front here. See, there's your front. There's your left view. There's your top view and there's your trimetric view. OK, now to go back to the original one, all you have to do is come over here and click on single view. OK, but you can also come over here and do uh, two views. This is the top view and the front view. You can also do two views side by side, right view and front view. OK, 
So go back to my single view and come over here. There's also a few more options over here. Uh, if you click on it, there's isometric, diametric and trimetric. Now, usually I like to use isometric. They're a little bit different from each other. If you go back over here, click on diametric, you'll see it shift just a little bit. And then if you go back to, if you go to trimetric, it shifted a little bit as well. Now, my favorite to use is ISO. So whenever I say ISO or try or die, those are my abbreviations for those three. Okay. Now you can also click on over here and you will see a, a little square around your part, a little a view. And then this will actually uh, show the view compared to a certain section. So if I want to, for example, I can already go top, bottom, left, right and stuff like that. So if I click, say over here, it will show you the view from that side. Okay, so if I rotate my part, you're going to see that that view was normal to this side. So I'm going to go back over here and then click on that square again. And say I want to see this corner right here. I'm going to click on that corner and that will show you the view from that corner. Like, you know, it's just a normal view to that corner. Now, I don't use that too much right now. And for essentials, uh, to me, I don't find it as useful. Maybe some other people might find it uh, useful. To me, there's another way to do a normal two. There's a normal two right here. If I actually uh, just click on any surface. So for example, if I just click on this surface and then click on normal two over here, that will give me that view. Instead of me going over here and then clicking on uh, uh, this option right here and then clicking on a surface to make my part. So for example, the same one, that I uh, just did with a normal two, it's this surface right here, and it will show me that part uh, right there. Okay, so I'm gonna go back over here, put it into isometric view, and then jump into the next one. So this is the display style. Display style, uh, this is gonna be your main one that we use, it's called shaded with edges. Now there's also shaded, but with no edges, you're gonna see all the edges on the sides disappeared. Okay, so if you actually go over here and click on that, you're gonna see that these are the, the edges and now that you can see them come over here and this is gonna hidden lines removed okay so you can see the entire part but no hidden lines so that means you can't see the, ins the inside of what's going on inside of the part if you actually go over the circle you're gonna see that you know that there's an extrude cut and also the feature extrude cut will show over here which is this one right here okay but you don't know um, you can't see what's inside now the next option is with hidden lines hidden lines visible and you will notice the entire part. So now you can get a better feel of it uh, on the inside. So you won't see not just the outside, but the inside of the part. Okay. And the last option is over here. It will make those hidden lines solid. So now it's a little bit tougher to notice which ones are actually uh, that you, the ones you can see and then the ones you can't see. With the hidden lines, you know that the hidden lines are the ones you can't really view from the view that you're looking at. They're just inside the part or hidden from the other side of the part. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my uh, shaded with edges. Now come over here. Now this is edit appearance. Now this section right here on its own, I'm going to be going over to a lot, but basically it allows you to change the color of your part. So for example, if I want to take a green, I can make the part green. I can make it white, for example, and there's also advanced options for that. So I will go over that in another section. Okay, there's also, this is the apply scene. This is the scenery in the background. So for example, if I wanted a background right now, it says three point faded is your default. Say I want a rooftop. It's going to show a different background over here. And this is just for mainly fun for whatever just view purposes. You want to uh, show the part uh, in a little nice professional manner. Uh, sometimes it's not really nice to show something that is uh, d too different than normal. You just want a nice plain background that whenever you show a professional part, uh, to a company or to a business. Some people like to go uh, a step further and create a little bit uh, different background, um, you know, and you can actually uh, change that and add more of those, okay? So for example, this is Urban 5 background. If you actually rotate the part, you're gonna notice that it looks like a little industry over here with a parking lot. And when you rotate your part, I'm, all I'm doing is holding down the middle scroll button and rotating my part. And you're gonna notice that uh, there's a little uh, you know, industry behind us, which kind of makes it look cool. So if I zoom out, you'll see it a little bit better. Okay. And you can also see the sky. So this is completely 3D. So this is something nice if people want to work with it, but usually professional designers, they don't put this stuff in the background because 
I mean, it's it's as nice as it is. You you might do it at your desk, but you definitely don't want to send something like that uh, to a customer or pictures of the part like this to a customer. Okay, so I'm going to go back and put it on three points. And then last but not least, the shadows and shaded. This is the mode that you have uh, shadows and shaded mode. Uh, and uh, we'll be going over those and we'll be showing you how the shadows look like. And you can notice the shadows that there's there's actually a light coming down. If you notice that the light is coming down from the right side, you notice that it's dark in this area because the light is coming over here and not hitting this area. Uh, if you actually uh, click on ambient occlusion, there's that that's the second option, but you have to uncheck this. And then there's also a perspective on that part, which we'll be going over a little bit later. So if you can actually, there's three little, you're not going to notice these with a, just a little part. So if I actually here, if I, unselect this you're going to notice that the shadow kind of disappeared and you can actually uh, design your part to have a big shadow a small shadow a mirror image uh, all anything that you want so for right now if i click on it again you're going to see just a little shadow appear over here and that's because uh, the default settings right now are not set to have a greater shadow show up so i will be showing you guys how to do that in a later on uh, exercise okay so there you go uh, this is your heads up view toolbar you've learned how to use it uh, make it your best friend is going to be you're going to be using this a lot uh, in this uh, uh, tutorial and uh, in the, in the future too you always want to move from one view to the next uh, my favorite is really whenever I need to see section uh, I really just rotate it real quick click on it and then when you get to all these options up here all I have to do is click normal too and it will show me uh, that view so that has become my best friend it might be different for you there you go this concludes uh, this session